Like the words I have seen people use very common is, that may be too much, it may be too much. They are frightened. One shouldn't say too much. You should. When you say too much, at least little bit will go into their heads. So you have to say too much. Say what you want. There should be exuberance, exuberance of your ideas. So that something goes into their heads, they know that you are sincere. You are saying it sincerely, you cannot contain within yourself. Emphatically you have to say things. That's what everybody did. All those who were great incarnations said it with such concern, with such force. In the same way you have to say, without any fear, oh, that may be too much, or that it was too much for him. Let him be blasted. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Say everything that you have to say, absolutely with full heart. But when people come to Sahaja Yoga, when they come for, say, a workshop or something, we try to be the same party people, like in the party, you see. What will you have? <laughs> then they say, we'll say, all right, let me think, what did I have yesterday? So I'll have today this thing. It's like a shopping going on. No, you have to say, we have this and please have it now, otherwise you won't have it. This is the time. Let them say what they like. It's important. I, I see sometimes your uh, SDP conferences and all this bop, bop the way they speak, they just blast you, I mean, hammer in your head. Or why should we not? When this is the truth, why should we not tell them and talk to them in that manner? We think by being gentle, all right, gentleness is different, but I mean to say, by saying less than, I see, understatement is typical English. That might be too much. In Sahaja Yoga, it is such a lot that how much are you going to pour out? It can never be too So be careful on that. When you have to say it, say it in a very blasty way, doesn't matter. What are they going to do? They can't crucify Me this time, can they? They dare not. Otherwise perfectly all right, nothing can touch Me and even crucifixion cannot touch Me, you know that. So you better say what you have found out in a big way and tell them in a big way, of course loving and gentle manner, but tell them the concern should be there. All right? Now this is what it is one has to understand, that there is nothing, say a little bit, then they think he's a shaky man. But when they sing, horrible songs on the mic, eating the mic, I say, calling eating the mic music. <laughs> they go on, you see, aggressing on the mic. And people go mad with it, they like it. I don't say you aggress, but don't say anything less, understatement is not needed. There should not be any balancing in that. Those people who will appe who'll be appeased by that will not be good Sahajogis. They cannot come in the kingdom of God. We don't have to be begging of them. 
But we have to honor them, we have to respect them, we have to be kind to them, but we have to give them what we have. Like in the family you go, you get everything from the fridge and give it to them, they'll be very happy, take it whatever you like. Water is bread. But if you put one little fish and two eggs for ten people with one chili to say that it is a joke, <laughs> maybe a lemon, they will think, what's this going on here, wishy-washy stuff. <laughs>